My name is Ben Mills from East Coast Yacht Sales, and this is a detailed walkthrough tour of a 2019 MJM 40Z named Truant. This boat has been spectacularly maintained. She's in excellent condition, so please do take a look at this video. And if you have any questions for me about this MJM or any other MJM on the market, feel free to reach out to me using the information below this video. So we're going to start our tour with an exterior walkthrough around Truant. Truant is a 2019 MJM 40Z. Um, I uh, was involved with the build with this owner, uh, being sold by the original owner of the boat. And as you can see, she's got a majestic blue hull color with a red claret cove stripe and a white boost stripe. Uh, black bottom paint. One thing that's great about Truant is that she is set up for um, a little bit more for cruising and what I mean by that is she has uh, arms that attach in these fittings right here um, which is a freedom uh, hydraulic lift so you can bring a, a appropriate good size tender with you uh, when you're in cruising mode but uh, when you're in just day boating mode, rather than just always having the tender on board and having a free swim platform, you can remove the arms and, uh, and have free access to the swim platform. Um, the mechanism that this, that this is, it's a sea lift. So it's a single hydraulic ram. It's a nice, simple engineer design. And uh, this owner chose to get the carbon fiber arms, uh, which makes it much, much easier to easily remove and reinstall these arms. I'll show you those arms uh, later in the video. Um, and because they're carbon fiber, they're, they also float as well. So. It's a great versatile setup uh, as far as the tender is concerned there. But moving forward, eyes and glass is in excellent condition, as is the hull. Hull paint's in great shape. Love the placement of the spotlight as well. It being right up on the bow, it doesn't, when it's on, it doesn't illuminate any of the stainless. A lot of the spotlights are up on the hard top on other boats, but MJM's always put it on the bow there. So it's a very usable spotlight and there's a remote control at the helm uh, as well. Downy style windows, what I mean by that is these large, uh, large square windows where you can roll up the eyes and glass and really open the boat up. I have the cockpit set up here with the aft curtains rolled up. It, it's very easy to do and it just transforms the boat almost immediately. Um, but we'll get into the cockpit in a little bit here. We'll head forward on the boat and walking forward, you can see you've got these handrails for safe uh, passage forward on board. Non-skids in excellent shape. Anchorless controls, there are anchorless controls at the helm as well, but you have some foot pedals. Um, and on board here, there's 200 feet of all chain road. These three windows open electrically. Uh, you have controls at the helm and the companion. And it's just, again, the way you can open up these boats makes it so you're in a center console when the weather is nice. But uh, if the weather does get nasty, you can just press a button. These close, you can regulate how much air you want coming into the cabin. It's just such a great setup. Looking at the hard top here at uh, the electronics, You've got two VHF radios. Uh, one is for the VHF and the second VHF antenna is actually for the AIS on board, uh, which is send and receive. Uh, so you can see other boats uh, with AIS and they can see you. This football shaped antenna here is for the station keeping associated with the Volvo IPS drives. 
Um, this is your Raymarine antenna uh, for your GPS. Not quite sure what that antenna is for, honestly. Um, you've got a Wi-Fi booster right here. This is a solar panel, so if you keep the boat on a mooring for a long period of time, um, it will just keep the house battery bank nicely charged up, so you never need to worry about the boat if you leave her for a period of time. Uh, radar antenna. This right here is a weather station, so it tells you wind direction, wind speed, and barometric pressure, and some just nice weather data for you. This is a digital TV antenna. There are several TVs on the boat, um, so you can get basic digital channels on board. Nice Kallenborg horn. This is an air horn, uh, which is a really powerful horn. It sounds great. Um, and then this is your Series XM uh, antennas there. Moving aft into our cockpit. This bimini is great. Uh, it's actually probably gonna rain later today. So this bimini just really extends the usability of the cockpit in foul weather, um, gets you out of the sun and it's uh, nicely engineered so you can run this while underway. Um, so it's a great, great setup for sure. These aft bench seat, is uh, the newer design where you have a freestanding seat right here. So let's say you want to get access to the swim platform, you can just pull the seat forward and you've got your transom door right there. Um, you also have two side boarding doors as well, so you can easily get off the boat on uh, with a floating dock height. So uh, it's, it's just so easy to get on board the, the 40. Uh, another nice thing about this sliding chair as well <clears throat> is you can move this table right here back here so you can seat an, an additional person by virtue of just moving this the, that uh, seat over here. Um, so you can have a nice El Fresco dining experience. Um, but great sociability in this cockpit for sure. The upholstery is all in excellent shape. This is a distressed chamois um, uh, ultra leather, which is in excellent shape. And this decking here is a S-Tec um, teak with white lines. So um, nice, modern, fresh look there. Moving forward. Just such great seating on the 40. Um, and there is no bad seat on a 40Z. These windows, since they drop down as low as they do, when you're seated back here, um, you can easily look out the windows and watch the world go by. Um, so it's just such a lovely experience. Um, also, these cushions are so, so comfortable. It's a little firmer of foam here and a little softer in here, so you really kind of get that uh, suck back in the seat sort of feel. Um, and it's also, if you want to take a nap, these seats are fabulous. You can also um, have two uh, people sleeping up here. There are privacy curtains that can drop down and you can sleep two adults up in this pilot house if you choose. Moving forward to the helm, you've got uh, two stit seats with cup holders that pop out here. Uh, these are the narrower stit seats, which I like the narrow stit seats because um, when you're in rougher weather, it just, it's a seat that better forms with your body. Um, you can easily put your, uh, your arms on these armrests here and it just feels like a nice and secure seat. Um, these seats, both uh, companion and helm seat, can spin around as well and drop down, so you can even seat more people around in this very sociable pilot house. As far as electronics are concerned, uh, they are the Raymarine electronics. Um, <clears throat> nice big screen here. You've got a dedicated Volvo display. You have your uh, Seakeeper 6 display here. 
fusion stereo. Uh, this is associated with the weather station here, so you can see uh, air temperature, pressure, and wind speed. Um, nice, dedicated Raymarine uh, multifunction display. Uh, the owner likes to have just this be just depth, but you can have it be a couple of different data points if you wish. Autopilot here. Uh, the uh, trim tabs on board are the upgraded Humphreys trim tabs with active ride control. These are the trim tabs that drop straight down very quickly. These are extremely robust trim tabs and do provide some additional uh, active stabilization while underway as well. So these are very, very nice trim tabs. Um, Volvo IPS 500s. Uh, your joystick here with your DPS function, which is that station uh, station holding function, uh, which is a really nice thing to use uh, just for putting fenders and dock lines out. Um, and then you have your VHF right here. These controls, these three controls are associated with your electric opening windows. Um, and then you have windshield wipers, your horn, and nav lights um, all at your fingertips here. Stepping back, you do have a TV that comes down here. So if you want to watch the game with a bunch of friends, uh, that's a great place to, to watch it from. Um, and your companion seat is also nicely equipped. You've got your companion has the ability to regulate how much air they have coming in by virtue of opening and closing these the center and the port side windshield um, and they also have their own chart plotter here as well so they can help with the navigation um, so that's a really nice companion seating i really like how you have dual forward facing helm chairs on opposing sides of the boat. Um, just your companion will have a slightly different vantage point than, than the captain would. So this is a really great setup. Um, we'll get into later on in the video with the available storage on board, but we're gonna hop down below into the cabin. I love stepping down below on the 40. It's just that's a nice and warm feel. Um, nothing about the interior of these boats uh, demands your attention and it's just a nice calming feel down below here. Frankly, the same sort of feel when you get into the pilot house. It's just you walk on board and everything is nicely placed, well thought out and beautifully finished. Um, and everything on board this boat is in excellent shape. The tabletop is in excellent shape. The cabin sole is in excellent shape. So um, the owners have done a great job keeping this boat, keeping this boat up. And given the quality of the build uh, from Boston Boat Works, these boats do age very, very nicely. Um, the galley here is nicely set up. Um, you've got these beautiful uh, dovetail joints here with soft closed drawers and then really nice positive locks uh, for when you get underway. And this is also the newest iteration of the galley with an induction electric cooktop, dual refrigerator drawers here with tons of refrigerator storage space. You have a corner freezer in here, a um, filtered potable water um, and nice sink. And the storage cabinets up above here are great just for extra s storage. You've got a trash bin right here. Um, underneath these steps, you've got uh, some of the hoses for your, your uh, vacuum which is great and it's just so easy to keep um, to keep this boat nice and tidy now turn down this VHF radio here um, and you can sleep two people in this area here there is a privacy curtain that you can put up with these fittings um, if you want to add privacy this table drops down and there's a dedicated filler cushion that lives right there um, one thing also that's unique about this particular boat, 
which was a special request, is uh, this boat does have a diesel heater as well. Um, that's what these fittings are for here. Um, and the diesel plumbing is also for, for the pilot house and down below in the cabin. Um, and what the diesel heater does is just dries out the cabin very nicely. It, it's even something that you'd likely use in the summertime just to cut the morning dew. Um, and so you can run that without having to run to the generator, which is very, very nice. Um, this is your Aspar cabin heater control here. Um, this is for your fresh water tank. This is the digital TV antenna, dual zone heat and air conditioning, uh, one for the pot house, one for down below here. Um, you've got a, an inverter. Uh, this is all your 110 power. This is all your 12 volt power. Uh, fusion stereo with your DVD player. And that DVD player uh, powers this TV right here. Um, it's just nice to have a place to sit down below on, on these boats. Um, get out of the sun a little bit and just decompress in the privacy um, of the hull here. So um, this is this area of the boat is really, really nice. You can stretch your legs out, put your back against the hull here, read a book, um, do some work. It's just such a great place on board. Um, moving forward, you have your privacy door for the master here. So even if you do have guests on board sleeping, they still have access to the head through this door here. Um, and when you're forward, your guests basically have free reign of the whole boat, um, which is really nice. You know, you don't necessarily have to use that privacy curtain if you don't want to. But moving forward into the, the master, you've got a great Island Queen berth with uh, drawer storage underneath. Um, this bed's really easy to get in and out of. You've got some bookshelves on either side. That access uh, hatch there is for your uh, anchor locker. And then over here, you've got your a TV uh, with some drawer storage underneath. And then here is your stall shower. The stall shower and the head are separate. Um, this stall shower is a great size. It's easy to keep clean and definitely a shower that um, is accommodating and therefore something that you could easily use um, and prefer the shower versus the shower on shore for sure. Um, and then you have a, a door here into the head, which you have a freshwater, uh, freshwater vacuum flush head, a sink vanity with storage underneath. Love the cherry woodwork. But uh, for extra storage on board, you also have underneath these runners, you have some storage right here, which you'll find very usable. usable. Now we'll head aft and look at some of the storage compartments. In the Sea Keeper compartment, center line, you've got your Northern Lights generator, uh, Sea Keeper 6 right here. You've got your Raycor fuel filters as well. Uh, notice how on the top of the fuel, uh, fuel filters you have a vacuum gauge as well, just so you can see if the um, filter's getting clogged. And then forward here is access to your air conditioning units. And then outboard, you have a huge amount of storage. These are those uh, Freedom carbon fiber arms that I talked about earlier. These things are beautiful, um, very lightweight, um, and you could easily store them in here. Um, but you also have access to um, other basic systems on the boat, your house, one of your two house batteries, your Dirt Devil vacuum, this is your inverter right here, your fuel tank and whatnot. Um, everything is nicely labeled and you have the same amount of storage uh, 
on the port side as well. So huge amount of storage. You can put full-size bicycles in there. It's just so nice. And then all the way aft in the engine room, I've got this hatch lifted up. Notice how you don't have to move any of the cushions or whatnot. You can just press a button and uh, flip up this hatch. I do move this, this chair over to here. Um, <clears throat> so this is more of your uh, deeper engine check area. And here um, your mechanics can easily get in this space. And then these hatches here are more for your daily checks. You can check your oil, your uh, sea strainer, fuel filters there, oil, oil filters. Um, so nice, easy way to check that areas of the engine. Um, this is the Volvo IPS 500s. Um, you cruise easily at 30 knots. You wide open throttle, you're doing about 36, 37 knots. Um, these engines have about 640 hours on them uh, right now and are in excellent shape. Look how nice and tidy this engine room is. Owners have done a great job keeping her tip top shape for sure. I hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough tour of Truant. She truly is a spectacular example of the 40 MJM. If you do have any questions for me, please do feel free to reach out using the information below this video.